Hi guys! Today is a new episode of Cake Basics. It's been quite a while, <laughs> but today I have something um, really simple, really basic that I wanted to share with you. It's uh, something that you can make for Valentine's Day. I decorated these um, cookies fitting to Valentine's Day, but you can also make them any time of the year. They're absolutely delicious and really easy to make. So let's get started and make my chocolate sugar cookies. I have a medium bowl here and I'm gonna add in my soft butter to it. Also adding in the brown sugar and a pinch of salt. I didn't have any vanilla, but you could also use vanilla extract. I'm just adding about a teaspoon of tonka paste. And then we are just going to beat the sugar with the butter for about five minutes until it's nice and soft and pale. And then after about five minutes, this is how the butter and sugar should look like. So it's nice and pale and really, really soft. And now we are going to add in the egg. And we are going to continue beating for about 30 seconds. And so then once you've beat it in the egg, this is how it should look like. And now we're gonna start adding in the dry ingredients. I've combined my uh, all-purpose flour with uh, cocoa powder in a separate bowl. And now I'm just gonna sieve it in. Not all of it at once, but about one third first. Then I'm gonna shortly mix just until it's almost combined. And then add in the second part and the third part so same way mixing in between and then a final mix And then you just want to clean the whisks and swap to a spatula and just fold through a couple of times because it can be that you have a dry spot somewhere like I have here at the very bottom. So I'm just gonna mix until everything is well combined. And then in the end you should have a really nice and smooth batter which doesn't have any dry spots. And then we are going to take this batter and roll it in some cling film and refrigerate it overnight. What I also like to do is to flatten the batter already at this point uh, before I chill it, which is gonna help me then by uh, rolling it out once it's chilled. So now I'm just gonna wrap it up. So now we are on to day two and here's my batter, it's just, or here's my cookie dough. It's out of the uh, fridge, it's nice and firm. First thing I'm gonna dust my working surface with a little bit of flour. And I'm also gonna unwrap my dough. And I'm just gonna shortly show you the thickness now. So we don't want to roll it out much, but we just need to roll it out a little. So at the beginning, it's gonna be a little bit hard for you to roll it out because it's really hard, but just give yourself time and you'll get there. So this is how I like to roll it out 
so I have quite a nice thickness on the dough and then you just want to cut out your cookies and place them right away on a parchment paper And then once you have a tray full of cookies, you want to uh, pop these into the fridge for another 30 minutes. That will help the cookies to keep their shape once we bake them. So I have uh, mine on a parchment paper and on a baking tray um, that fits in my fridge, but you could also just use a cutting board or something, um, but just cover it with parchment paper first. So then once the cookies have been baked and you want them to cool completely. So mine have been cooling actually overnight. Uh, it's not necessary so you can also just allow them to cool for a couple of hours until they are completely um, cool to touch, so cold. So that um, once you start decorating nothing melts. Then what I also have here is um, a mix of sprinkles. So I made this actually myself. So I had a look what kind of sprinkles I had. Um, so I had some little um, white and pink ones and some bigger pearls. And uh, I also got some new sprinkles, so they're hard ones. And I just mixed those to make my own mix. So. You could do that or you could just get a ready mix um, or just use the sprinkles that you like. What you could also substitute this with is some crushed candy. So if you can find some hard um, pink or white candy, you can use that as well. Just crush it and you can decorate with that. And then I've melted my chocolate so it's nice and uh, liquid like. I like to use um, a specific dark chocolate so I just um, finally chopped the chocolate bar and then melted in the microwave because I have a setting for melting that chocolate but you could also just chop up the chocolate and melt it in a water bath. So then you will also need some parchment paper you want to have your chocolate cookies and the sprinkles somewhere close, somewhere handy. And then we'll just start dipping the chocolates, um, the, co the cookies into the chocolate. So I'm gonna dip mine about halfway. And then you just want to allow the excess to drip off. I suggest to drip it sort of um, this way so that it drips from the bottom so that you have a nice surface here on the top side and then once it stops dripping you can place it over onto your parchment paper and then right away take some of those sprinkles and decorate with the sprinkles And then once you've decorated your cookies, um, you want the chocolate to harden completely before you remove them from uh, the parchment paper and then you want to store them airtight in an airtight container. So that was it. It's really simple recipe. Um, there is not much you can do wrong. <laughs> Just read the recipe and I'm sure you're gonna be successful. As I said, you can make this for Valentine's Day, but you can also make them any time of the year. You can leave them as they are, so you can just uh, bake them and that's it. So you don't necessarily need to decorate them. But if you want, you can decorate them with chocolate like I did. There, I would give you a little tip. Um, don't overheat the chocolate, so be careful when you're heating the chocolate so that you go gentle with the heat and don't overheat it. 
so just a little tip there and then you can either dip them you can dip them completely in the chocolate or just up until half then you can decorate them with uh, some sprinkles or you can also make a chocolate ganache and make sandwich cookies I bet those would be really yummy as well I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you're finding these cake basics uh, recipes useful if you are then you know what to do don't forget that thumbs up for support and if you're new to my channel then you can subscribe right now and if you tap the bell you won't miss any of my new recipes thank you for watching my video bye bye until next time